Mike Foster here at Salvador O'Malley's. Uh, getting ready to do the, uh, the Cray Balls Challenge. Five habanero fritters and a spicy habanero sauce. I did a little taste test of it before. This might be one of the hottest things I've ever eaten. Um, I put it in my mouth and it's a lot like uh, Ivan Drago. Whatever it hits, it destroys. Whatever he hits, he destroys. Welcome to America's Pit Stops. Come along with the American Size Travel Guide, Michael Wayne Foster, and Barry Pitmaster Paul, as we search for the best locally owned eats, treats, and good hardworking people all across the USA. We made a pit stop in the weirdest city in the United States, Portland, Oregon. We came across Salvador Mali's, an eclectic restaurant that started in 1994 as a single tamale food cart. With a lot of hard work and an eclectic menu, Salvador Mali's has become a world of flavors, featuring foods from the Caribbean, Hawaii, Baja, exotic Africa, Latin America, New Orleans, and Asia. They've got tons of different flavors and it's a lot of fun, but the reason we came here is for THE challenge, the Great Balls of Fire challenge. The challenge is simple, eat five Great Balls of Fire fritters with sunshine and pain hot sauce. If you're successful, you get your photo on the wall and you are immortalized in their hall of flame. However, it comes with a warning sign, so this is definitely a challenge you want to think long and hot about. There's a pretty good chance that there's going to be some flames on the way in as well as the way out. Every little bit in my mouth, whatever it touched, just turned into fire. So uh, I'm supposed to do this in five minutes. It's so dumb. Why don't you eat up and we'll tell you. Here we go. It's like a nuclear bomb just went off. It's like I just got nuked. Watch, any minute I'm gonna start hiccuping. Mark my words, I'm gonna start hiccuping. I can tell, because it's gonna hit my stomach. And it's so hot. It's gonna cause all sorts of a, uh, boom, I knew it. I will be hiccuping all. I knew it was coming. That's when you know you're eating some seriously hot shit. That's when it brings the hiccups out. <laughs> oh my God. We will say when I'm done with this. He said go straight to pineapple juice. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> yep. oh. You know when the hiccups come, that you're into some serious fire. That's true. I know. That's true. I'm gonna have to go ahead and order a pineapple. glass of pineapple juice and a glass of milk when you get a chance. No. <laughs> For precautionary measure, measures. I'm slurring my speech. I'm serious. Oh, but it is good though. I mean, it's got it's a fritter. It's got cheese in it and stuff. God, I, I'm not even touching that water. Oh, this last one. I'm gonna be in pain for a long time today. My tongue now has caught fire. It's like the last part to catch fire. Now's my Eat tongue. Eat it. You have to kill the sauce. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want a cheesy poof? Probably a bad idea. <laughs> mm. I think it's gonna make it worse, huh? Worse. Huh? Yeah, it's gonna come back. It's gonna the come back. Draft. Yeah, it's gonna back drop. Wow, it's crazy how it takes away the pain for a minute. How it tastes so good when it hits your lips. Right? Once it hits your lips! So that really does help take the pain away for just a second though, but it comes back even higher. That'd be a lesson to you kids. Yeah. <laughs> Holy hell. Thanks. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that good. Get that out of your way. Is that legit? It's legit for me, man. Oh, yay. <laughs> wow.